Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to this video. Today, I, I thought that I would just take a shower, put some, my pajamas on, and watch a movie. But my package arrived today, and I had to do this video. So that is why I'm sitting here. And today, I'll see if I be shook by this palette or this palette. Yes, when I saw T's pictures on Instagram, I immediately knew doesn't matter what it was, I will order it. I love Revolution Beauty. I love their products. Some of them are I like more. Some of them didn't really work for me, but I love I love that brand. But they release makeup every day. I have so many products that I bought from them that I still haven't tried and reviewed because I don't have time to make all of these videos because I work full time. But Today, I just need to sit down and create a makeup look and play with uh, this palette because it looks stunning. And I did swatch it and I will tell you what I think about that. And also try uh, this highlighter palette. So, I have a couple of other things, but if you're interested to see what I will create, how these products work and what I think about them, then please keep on watching. So guys, let's take back my hair. I have a couple of other products from Revolution that just released. I have, wait, where is it? I have the new powder foundation, pressed powder foundation in shade 8. It's number of, of a foundation that I use from Revolution, number 8, so I hope this will work. I also have the new Bronzy, bronzer, this is bronzer reloaded in shade Take a Vacation. And I have also new Revolution Pro Wide Eye Effect Pencil. And I have also their new The Waterproof Mascara and Matte, Matte Revolution Liquid Lipstick in shade Matte Head Turner. Head Turner. So... I haven't tried any liquid lipstick from Revolution before, but I heard so many great things about it. So I'm very excited. And let's just start. I just removed all of my makeup that I, that I have on today. And I have nothing on, not even a moisturizer. And I don't want to put my moisturizer on because I am going to remove the makeup that I'm going to apply now. So I'm going to use a little bit of this Smashbox primer that is also very hydrating, um, moisturizing. So it can be my moisturizer today. Ooh, I'm so excited to try this palette. It looks wonderful and very pigmented. I already have a look in my head what I want to create, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyes and I'm going to use, Rev not Revolution, Urban Decay Primer. I bought so many of their products for my next giveaway. Can't wait. That video will be up next week. I think I'm going to wait until Wednesday next week because I just think I want to do that. So don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. So you'll be part of that video. But I am like to set my concealer. So I'm going to go in this palette. And I'm going to take this shade here that's called Fresh. And apply that to set my base. These are a little bit powdery, nothing that bothers me. I don't care if eyeshadow is powdery, maybe not too much, it gets all over my face, but if it's a little bit powdery, I do not care. So, before I start, I want to tell you what I think about the packaging. It looks stunning. I don't know what I think about this kind of packaging. I'm not really a big fan. I can make it work, but I have my one of my favorite palettes. It's not yeah, one that I used to travel a lot with. It's the Too Faced Peach palette, and I love that one. But it's much much thinner than this. It's the same kind of packaging, but it's much thinner. This is a little bit thick, and I don't really like this kind of palettes. It feels a little bit heavy too, especially this side with the mirror. I think it could be much 
uh, thinner and maybe easier to work with. I think the mirror is beautiful, but I think I'm not really a big fan of the packaging. But I don't mind. I mean, these shades look stunning. The pants are small, but I don't care. For the price, it's amazing. So I'm not a big fan of the packaging because it's kind of big and bulky, but it looks amazing. I'm going to go into this shade that's called Fabulous and have that all over my crease. And I'm going to use my favorite brushes that I just bought. And this is from um, Kaya Cosmetics that I reviewed. Okay, let's take the Fabulous. It's kind of, uh, they are very powdery. It's kind of peachy shade and I'm into that. Right now I'm into peach shades and red eyeshadows. I was scared of that red eyeshadow before, but right now I do like them. I don't have, I really am I'm curious to buy that Jeffree Star palette, blood sugar palette, but I don't know. I want to see what he will come out with next. Oh, this is blending very nice and it's very pigmented. The shade is powder, so it's getting a little bit around. But I, I mean, it doesn't bother me. But if you don't like powdery shades, maybe you don't want, you won't like this palette. But I don't. This is very pigmented. I mean, this is <laughs> very pigmented, very pigmented. Okay. After that, I want to go to this more peachy pink shade. We post this one. I'm going to take a more pointier brush, blending brush crease brush and I mean you get so much so much on this brush with the one that oh my god this is so pigmented I mean I do have a lot of um, eyeshadow palettes from Makeup Revolution or Revolution Revolution Pro so many of their palettes but this is the most pigmented palette that I've tried from them look I just dipped my brush soft in the shade and it has so much color oh i love this color okay. this is very pigmented but it's blending beautifully i'm shook i don't usually use that phrase or but i'm shook then i'm going to switch a brush and then uh, go something like this still a crease brush and i want to go into lust this more deep red shade here Want to go into that shade very pigmented okay then i'm going to switch a brush again and take this kind of very pointier blendy brush smaller and I'm going to go into Vibe, this dark plummy shade. This palette is heavy to hold, so oh. And I want to deep up the corner. I'm going to take this brush again. And I'm going to go into this storm shade. This looks like burgundy brown shade with some gold glitter in. It kind of reminds me of this, those shades that a couple of palettes have. I think my Jacqueline Hill and Morphe had that in her newer collection. One of the shades were also kind of plummy with glitter, I think. But when you swatched it, it just, the glitter disappeared. That kind of reminds me of this shade that the glitter is going to disappear. But let's see. Well, actually, there is some soft glitter, but oh, some fallout. And I'm going to cut the crease. I'm going to use the cut crease canvas that I've been using. And actually, I've been liking it a lot. Uh, I made it work. I don't know how. I just use it like I did before when I reviewed this product. Uh, but it stayed on the whole day. I like that. Though I didn't use it as a base, I just use it like I'm using it right now to cut my crease. Not cut crease, but to a hello eye.
Okay, we're going to we're going to use a flat brush. I think I'm going to go into Roamer with a flat dry brush, and that is this shade here. This is dry brush. Very nice. I mean, this pigmentation for this price is unbelievable. Okay, it's not the best hello eye, but don't judge me. I'm tired. <laughs> I want to go in this Valentine too and place it in the center of the, this hello eye just to brighten it up a little bit. Looks stunning. Let me wet this Valentine and see what we can create. Oh wow, that's nice. I'm going to go back with this brush and go in with the last shade, the red that we had here, and kind of blend the edges a little bit. I want to take this brush that we have for the crease and go back in the first shade that we had, fabulous, in our crease and just blend the crease a little bit more. I'm going to take some of the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation with a brush and just take a very light coverage or go light on with this foundation because I want to try that powder foundation. And then we'll go and finish the makeup look. This is a Revolt Beauty brush, my favorite foundation brush. So now I'm matching the rest of my body and I'm going to, actually I use, I like to go with one more layer just to kind of have more of that high coverage. But I'm going to try uh, this foundation, this is powder foundation. And I know I'm not going to use powder foundation uh, alone, ever, so that is what I'm not going to do. But I want to try to set this makeup and kind of build up the coverage. This is Revolution. I like the packaging. I like how nice and sleek it looks. Uh, when you open it, you get this kind of puff. I never use this. Maybe to touch up. Feels nice. It feels so. Uh, looks like it's going to have some some coverage. So let's try it. I look crazy, but it's going to look beautiful when we finish the makeup. Okay, trust trust me. So oh, that's very powdery. I don't know if you can see it, but it's very powdery. Be careful when you go in with your brush. Tap off the excess because a lot of mm, too small mirror. I don't know if it's making it more full coverage or gi giving me coverage at all, but I feel like it goes on nice on the face. I don't feel it. It doesn't look dry, doesn't look cakey. Let's see if we go in with that puff that we have in here and see if we can oh, hit this kind of puff sponge. Let's see if we, if we can build up the coverage. Yeah, we'll definitely build up the coverage with a puff. I 
I forgot to go in with the concealer. That's great. <laughs> Before I continue, I'm going to take just a little bit of the concealer. I have a new concealer, but I'm not going to try that. This is number seven. It's smooth. Let's take number seven, Revolution, just a little bit. Under the eyes. I'm going to take this powder, no, not this one, this in shade one to set my concealer. It went on nice over the powder too, that's good, but I'm not going to set that with that foundation because I want my under eyes to be more bright. So let's go and take some of that powder. I'm sorry guys, in the middle of my filming, my battery died. So what I did is that I went in with a lust under my low lash line before my battery gave up on me. And I'm going to go in with this fresh that we had all over the eyelid. We, we did set our foundation, not foundation, base with that. And I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to place it under my under the magic eyebrows done this time my camera kind of stopped filming again I'm going to go in with this wild eye effect pencil that's supposed to make your eyes more open and awake it's uh, a pencil that has two sides one is shimmery and one is matte can I take it out looks like this this and this one, let me see if I have space here. This one is kind of shimmery and this one is matte. So with the matte side, I'm going to go in my waterline. Can't see. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I'm going to go kind of closer to my mirror. Hmm, I know. Does my eye look more big open? I like to do this. And then you go in, I'm going to go in with this shimmery side highlight here. I don't know what I'm thinking about this shimmery side. It's kind of a little bit too dark for my tear drop, or I don't know what it's called. I'm going to go in with the, the palette, Shook palette again, and bring, bring a lighter shade. I think I'm going to go in this whiter, this white shade. That's also powdery, but pigmented, and place it. nice i like that okay okay so let's go now and um, try the mascara this is the waterproof mascara i have the the new mascara that's the mascara that i really like this is i think the same kind of mascara but waterproof version i like this packaging it looks like tear water drops on it I really like Revolution Mascara. I just found the brush too big and the packaging a little bit too big. A little bit too bulky to work with. But I like the product. Let's try the mascara. And the brush is all the same. But I kind of like this mascara a little bit more. Really like it. 
I don't know guys what you think, but I really like this mascara. And this is only one coat. Really like it. I think I like it more than the other one. We're going to go to the lipstick. This is New Revolution Matte Matte Shade Head Turner. And I just picked a shade that looked nude. Not too dark, not too light. Strange smell. Very big applicator though. I really like this shade. I didn't thought that I would like it, but I do really like it. It's very nude, perfect for this makeup look. And it feels, it doesn't feel thick, thick, sticky. And I like how it feels on my lips. My first liquid lipstick from Revolution. And I like it. Okay, so the one thing that you all be waiting for is the highlighter palette. Let me just say, let me clean my hand. I did swatch one shade and I was shook. I don't know how it's going to work on the face, but the swatch was everything. This palette is much bigger than I thought it would be. I'm going to swatch all of the shades. So let's start with this one. They feel very soft. And I swatched the white one. So let's see, do you see? Can you see this white? There is still pigment on my hand. I don't know how this is going to work on, let's swatch these two. I don't know how it's going to look on my skin, but This is the highlighters. I don't know if you can see how nice and shimmery they are, but let's see how they are going to work on my skin. Actually, I want to mix two shades because I want something pinkish kind of light shade. Uh, I think this one is going to be a little bit too dark for my skin tone. I don't know. I'm going to try it. So much pigment with this. Esco 01 Sus Sosu Kaylee brush collection and I'm going to try this shade alone just to see if it if it is too dark for my skin tone. Oh my god. I think this video is going to be very long, but I hope you don't mind and I that you enjoy watching me trying these products. So we are going to go in with this shade again just to see if we can. Oh my god, this looks so beautiful. And it's not too, too dark for me. It's perfect shade. Oh my god, this looks wet. Like a wet, nice highlighter. Let's try to mix it together with this white. They are powdery a little bit, so Oh, wow, okay, okay. Um, I can see myself from heaven. Does show a little bit of my texture here because it's so light, but it looks nice and wet. I love this, I love this. So nice. Let's try this shade on the nose. So I'm going to set everything with my Revolution Sport Fix. Mm. I love this spray. And voila, this is the final look. I'm shook. I'm shook. This is an amazing highlighter palette. I love this palette. 
I like that this is suitable for all skin tones. You can mix shades. If you want this shade, you can mix it with white and get a lighter shade. I think this is a palette for everyone. You can use them as a eyeshadow and maybe you can light them up with this light shade or make it a little bit darker with this darkest shade if you like to. This is a great, great palette. So I give a thumbs up. I'm shook, shook. The eyeshadow palette. I lost all of the words. I love this makeup look. I think it turned out wonderful. I'm shook. Okay, this is, yeah, Revolution did it again. They did it, they did it again. I don't know how they can do it. They release new shades, new palettes, new products every, every single day. And they nailed it with this one. Like it. I do like the eye eye pencil. I do like it. Do I think I need to use it a little bit more? But I do like those kind of uh, shades in my low lash low lash line or waterline. Mascara. I love. I love the mascara eyeshadows. I'm in love. I like the lipstick, I think it looks nice, though it looks a little bit drying, so I would definitely apply a little bit of some balm over, or maybe a high lip gloss, but I like the shade, it's very nice. Overall, oh, foundation. The foundation. I'm so surprised that my skin look, looks this good. It looks like perfection. Doesn't look cakey, doesn't look heavy. It does look like I have makeup, but it looks so nice and smooth. I'm surprised because I did apply a lot of this powder or foundation and it looks great. Definitely something I'm going to continue using. I'm kind of curious to see if I can touch up with this product. You know, sometimes when you uh, touch up with some powder on top the foundation, it kind of looks dry and cakey. So let's see if we can use this puff and it's powdery though. I can now uh, touch up. Well, yeah. Only in the places where I often lose makeup. It looks matte, so it mattifies, of course, the skin, but it looks nice. Doesn't look too cakey. It just looks matte. I like it. I'm surprised that I like it this much and happy that I bought right shade. Definitely something I'm going to have in my purse to touch up during the day at work. Though I do have those touch-up powders to try from Revolution, but before I do use that and try that, I will continue. I will use this foundation. I'm in love. And I also really love the mascara and the mascara and the foundation. And of course I like the pen. So everything that I bought today worked fine. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because next week I'm coming with a huge giveaway with many eyeshadow palettes. Some of the palettes are from Makeup Revolution or from a Revolution, but I give a thumbs up. This is a wonderful collection. I love it. I'm definitely going to do a video with maybe three or four different eyeshadow looks with this palette. So let me know if you're interested to see that. I'm happy to do so. I really want to try uh, this shade here and I really want to try this purple and this shade here. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to continue playing with it and create some makeup looks for you guys, but only if you're interested. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me. Don't forget to like this video and i see you in my next one. Love you all. Bye!